This is the other angle looking down to the path all green where the rocks and our dumping ground's been. And this grass track comes up, leads up to a little campsite we built for the kids. And then a hand poured concrete road up this steep section. We did it in six meter sections. Uh, we didn't have access for a pump or concrete trucks. So we did it all by hand. And this leads up to the valley green, the big green. Little campsite in there. Some more rock walls. We're gonna do the planting in spring. We haven't got access to the plants that we're after at the moment, being winter. As you can see, it's been quite a big job. This is gonna be the buggy access to the valley green. There's been a couple of little washouts after the rain we just had, but up the top here, above there's a natural spring that just, water is just constantly pouring through our drainage pipes. I built these rock walls at the end of last year. It started off as a horse paddock. As you can see, the green was going to be small on this, but the client asked us to build it bigger. That's why we sort of worked on two different levels. That's going to be the buggy access around. Here are these rock walls we build. It's the valley green. It's quite a big green. Par three. I'm not sure if you can see in the distance there, there's a little timber box. And that's the tee off to the this green. What a spot, eh? And I'll just walk you through As you can see, it's such a nice day, but everything's so wet. When we had that last lot of rain, oh, that big lot of rain before Christmas, we had massive washouts through here that came down the hill, washed through the green area. And that's why we built this drainage area here and concrete section of the road, stop it from washing out just to let the water do its thing in heavy rain. Big 600 by 600 pit. There's more hand-built walls we built here. This is more buggy access to the front of the property. There's some more rock walls we built through there. Everything's settling in nicely. So for this summer, I should be playing golf on here. And this is the access from the bottom of that. All these rock walls were actually they're four meters high because I had to go down to the natural ground and then we filled up against it. You can see where the natural slope is. Down through there. And then we buried all that. Bring it up to a at a height. Got a drainage that runs right through here under this road and back down through the gardens and it runs right down through there to that creek that I'm about to build. We're going to thin out those trees later in the year and make that a lot tidier as well as get all these banks planted out. But yeah she's um she was a big wall this one. All built with a five tonner. See the walls there from a distance up the top. It's come out really good. See those tanks in the background there? We've got water getting pumped up from the creek at the bottom and then that irrigates all these greens irrigation all the way around which runs right down 
to the bottom green where we're working at the moment. And all this grass is settling in nicely now. We were having to keep, this is where we actually brought all our materials up this way. It's nice and tidy. Now the buggies will come around here. been a big project it's not a bad spot to work five minutes from home we like to keep it local in the Crumbin Eleonora Tweed area and yes I better get some work done now sun's shining make the most of it thanks for watching see ya